This video is brought to you by MidiWorks.ca, where we specialize in virtual pipe organ hardware. If you'd like to be updated on future tutorials, products, or announcements, we invite you to subscribe to our channel. You can also use the coupon code provided in the description to get $50 off your first order. In this video, we will show you how to set the MIDI channels on your MidiWorks keyboards. The reason to set the MIDI channels is so that Hopwork can tell each keyboard apart. Ideally, you want each keyboard and pedal board to be set to a different MIDI channel. If you have bought a stack of keyboards from us, it is most likely that your keyboards have already been set to different channels. If the keyboards are not set to different channels, then please continue. There are two ways you can set the MIDI channels on our keyboards. You can either use the quick config method or use our software called CMK Config. Let's start with the Quick Config. Now this method is only available if your keyboards have pistons. If they do not, then you will need to install and use CMK Config. The Quick Config requires that you press specific pistons and keys to set the MIDI channels. The instructions are on our website. Head over to midiworks.ca, select Support at the top menu, then click on Configuring Hardware. You will then need to select Quick Set MIDI Channels. It will lead you to a page that has a PDF file. Click on the image to open the file. This guide shows a few different presets you could set your keyboards to. There is a lot of information here, but all you need to look for is what channel each preset saves. This number 3 preset sets the keyboard to channel 4. Preset number 1 sets the keyboard to channel 2. Preset number 2 sets the keyboard to channel 3. Preset 4 sets the keyboard to channel 4 as well. But what makes this preset different from channel 3 is that preset number 3 automatically sets the set and cancel pistons. Preset number 4 does not. And finally, preset number 5 sets the keyboard to channel 5. All right, let's select the preset. For this example, we'll use number three and go through the steps of setting it to a keyboard. In order to see the difference, I have connected our keyboard to Hopwork and I've opened up the MIDI, audio, and performance box. Right now, when I press a note on the keyboard, you can see that it is currently set to channel two. Let's go back to the guide. Following the instructions for preset 3, we must first press and hold the piston furthermost to the left. Then press the following in sequence. A sharp 5, C sharp 3, and then E1. Once those have been pressed, we will let go of the piston. Let's do that now. Let's check hop work. As you can see, anytime we press a note, MIDI channel 4 is what the messages are being sent through. If you have more than one keyboard, make sure each one is set to a different preset to ensure Hopwork can recognize them properly. Now let's set a MIDI channel on a keyboard using CMK config. For those that do not have pistons, then this is the only way for you to be able to set the channels. To download CMK config, head over to midiworks.ca and click on Downloads. On the options, select CMK Config Software. Download the appropriate version by clicking on it. If clicking on the link does nothing, right-click it instead and select Save Link As. Once it has been downloaded, then install the software. While CMK config is installing, it is important to note that running Hopwork and CMK config at the same time will cause issues with your MIDI. So when running one of these programs, make sure the other one is off or not running. Once it's installed, hold on for a moment. Before you open CMK config, we have to make sure our keyboard is connected. Take your USB cable and connect the keyboard to your computer if you have not done so already. Once that is done, we will open up the program. 
Once CMK is done loading, it will show us two options. For this video, we will be selecting Load Current Settings from CMK. This means it will look for any keyboard connected to the computer and load whatever was saved on it. From this window, we need to select MIDI in and MIDI out ports. Depending on how old your keyboards are, make sure you select on both drop down boxes either classic organ keyboards or CMK keyboards. Then press OK. Give the program a few seconds as it reads the keyboard. Once it is finished, it will display a digital version of the keyboard on the screen. To set the MIDI channel, all you need to do is click or right click on any key on the keyboard and a box will open. There are a lot of options and tabs available here. However, to set the MIDI channel for our keyboard, we only need to focus on the check boxes located on the left. As you can see, it is currently set to MIDI channel 3. Let's change it so that it will send messages through MIDI channel 5 instead. The first thing that we need to do is unselect channel 3 and then select channel 5. Once that's done, we click on save. The last step is to save the changes on our keyboard. We need to click on Write to CMK for the new MIDI channel selection to take effect. We need to give CMK config some time to write the new settings onto the keyboard. Once the progress window closes, you know that the changes have been saved. Once again, let's open up Hopwork and check if it worked. As you can see, the keyboard is now sending messages through channel 5. If you have more than one keyboard, make sure you repeat this process and have every single keyboard on a separate channel. Now that all your keyboards are set to different MIDI channels, it's time to connect and configure your keyboard stack to Hopwork. Click on one of the videos or the link in the description to see how that's done.